Hey there boys and girls and welcome to episode 184 of Sonic Boom TV. This episode is an unboxing as well as an apology to the great nation of New Zealand. I, I'm trying to avoid international issues and possible wars breaking out and all this other stuff so I made myself a nice little chart so we won't make the mistake again in my last video I, I talked about at the very end of my video I talked about the episode I did with my friends from Canada and New Zealand but I said Australia and I did not mean to say Australia I apologize to Steve and Keith and the entire nation of New Zealand and I hope that they do not send the Kiwis and the stuff like that out on some kind of attack or something to destroy the United States because we can't get their name right. Sorry, never happened again. So I've got this chart that I made, and I'll show you guys a little better. It says, Kansas Connection, Canada, New Zealand, United States, Connection, Dan, Canada, Keith and Steve, also New Zealand, not Australia. And then Kevin, me, that's me, United States. So now that we've got this official chart for the Kansas Connection team, we're a team. I think we're a team. We're a team. Uh, and and we, we do do banter. Steve wanted to know if we said that word. And we do say that word. We just don't like to say that word a lot. Sometimes we call it, you know, bullshitting or whatever but you know we're, we're not gonna do that so anyway that's my apology to new zealand i hope to never mistake you for australia again um it, it wasn't on purpose it just uh it just happened that way so now back to reality and records as you guys know i've been buying stuff from this uh place called vc vinyl on whatnot and um I got in on their $5 starting bit sale, I guess. It's like they start the bids at $5 and most stuff goes for $5 because everybody knows you're supposed to, if they pull up, you know, an album, they're going to have multiple copies of it. And you'll, you know, you might have to bid it up a little bit on some things, but in most cases you get it for $5, the next guy gets one for $5, the next guy gets one for $5, and then later on in the show they come back with more so you can go ahead and get it so uh i was in that morning first the, the, i think it was the morning show that they did because they do like three or four shows a day and there was i don't know maybe a hundred hundred plus uh people in the room and you know they I watch the shows to see stuff, even when I don't have money to buy anything. I watch a lot of the shows just because it's like background noise or whatever. But uh, I also like to see the stuff that I don't have and that they don't show a lot so I can ask about it when I do have the money. And one of those was, well, both of these were. Uh, uh, let's start with this one. Uh, G Love and Special Sauce, Sugar. Now this one I saw and I wanted and I requested it and I requested it like three times or so because you know the guy kept saying he was going to get it or whatever and I just wanted to you know be sure he remembered and he went and got it and then the other one was Bad Flower this is how the world ends now this one I got it before anybody noticed it like I got the first one five bucks boom no problem on that one this one however when I asked about it he brought it in and he brought in like 10 copies and you know he's, he, he was running them back to back so you know once there's one sold he sold another well, this one guy kept outbidding everybody for them like he's a flipper I know I know what he's doing he's he's got his own whatnot show and he's selling them for probably 20 bucks or something like that and he's getting them for five or ten you know so they started at five and I and and it's like you only got like 10 seconds to bid. So you bid, and then if somebody else bids, it adds a couple seconds. But if they bid at the last second, it only adds like two or three seconds. So, you know, whatever bid I can get in, you know, you slide the little thing. When it says $5, you slide it. And then by the time you try to 
recognize that the, you've been outbid, it's too late. You're gone. It's gone. So this guy was up in this to, you know, nine, ten dollars every time and couldn't do it. And I was like, man, you got to let somebody else get one or something, you know? And oh, they kept saying, oh, well, you just need to bid faster or you need to bid more. Because there's a little thing that you can bid your max bid. But you, when there's only like 10 seconds to do it, you don't have time to really do that. Um, you know, and it depends on the delay and all that. I got something on my phone that's bothering me. Uh, you know, the delay from the the live person to your compu- your phone or computer or whatever. You know, and, and everybody else is on a different thing. So, you, you it just, I don't know. So, I, I finally, I got aggravated. And, and, you know, they did a couple more and I got outbid on those too. So, so then I said, you know what? I'm going to get one of these things today. And I'm not going to pay $10 for it or whatever. Because I believe if it's a $5 start on, on these kind of things, you shouldn't go over 7 Because they have a $10 start show too. That Sometimes these things are on the $10 shows. But most of the time they're not. If they're on the $5 show, they shouldn't go over 10 And I really don't think they should go over 7 Um, You know, that's just me. Um, so, uh, so I waited maybe an hour or two and I know the shows usually last about four hours or so something like that so I waited until the, the the people that were in the room started dwindling down and it was about maybe there was like 50 people in the room and uh I don't know if that guy was still there or not I don't think he was because I didn't see him outbidding anybody else on anything else after a while he was doing it on several records though um so anyway I got him to uh I said, hey, you got any more of those G-Love and Special Sauce records? And they were like, yeah, we'll get you some more. They came on, they brought on another 10. And the first, I think it was either the first or the second one, I got it for $7, which is, you know, what I was trying to max out at. Uh, and so, so that was a good deal. Was, um, this band uh, is kind of a, kind of a bluesy alternative rock. But not heavy, like like almost like acoustic for the most part. From but the singer is kind of like a rap singer too. Uh, he's a white boy, white boy rap singer, I guess. Uh, and so um, he, uh, I, I never really had anything um, by them. I had a few, like a few compilation things that had songs on them, and there was about five or six songs. And I just made a tape of that when I was back in the, or maybe a CD. I think it was a tape though back in the 90s of them, and that's what I used as my G-Lo and Special Sauce stuff. Um, and then, I guess a couple of years ago, I found a CD, maybe maybe two, I can't remember if it was one or two. Uh, they're up there. They need to be, all that's going to be organized, hopefully, this weekend. Uh, but anyway, so I never had much. I saw this, and I thought I really wanted to get it, so pick that one up. So we're going to open these up. I took them all out of the boxes, because I have to, you have to, you know, when you're on whatnot, it asks you to, to uh, rate your packages and stuff like that. So whenever they come in, I just open it up and see what's in there and make sure it's there and just give them their five stars and move along. So let's see what this one is. Um, we didn't read the <laughs> hype stickers. Purchase says free MP3 download, free download with purchase, unique code and details inside. Um, the original trio together again for the first time in eight years, featuring nothing else else quite like home and one night romance featuring mary clayton i don't know who that is so we got that we got that back cover uh i believe this guy is the singer in the middle this one i don't know who he is and that may be mary clayton in the back he look, looking like that guy i don't know <laughs> uh download card in there yep, they sent me a little code that you guys can't see but we got a download card then we've got nice printed inner sleeve lyrics such lyrics oh I did not know this look at that that is some some blue it's got a little uh swirl in it um i think you might be able to see it on this side um but that is a that is an intense blue cobalt blue probably and then they've got yeah the label with the sugar packet on it kind of neat kind of neat 
Um, but I like this color. That blue used to be my favorite color when I was a little kid. Um, and I didn't even know this was colored vinyl, so that's awesome. I thought it was just going to be black. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. I bought these on two different shows as well. Um, I bought three from one show and two from the other. This was the first like, next one from the uh, first show. I lost my little pick thing. Professional show we're doing here. You see in the back of my head or whatever. Yeah. On uh, this next one is a uh, is Bomb Flower, Bad Flower. I mean, uh, there's a band called Bomb Flower that I own. Um, <laughs> and I looked them up, and they're like a <coughs> they're like a rock band, alternative rock, I guess. Uh, but uh, I don't know that they're like punk or, or heavy or anything. Um, but they sounded kind of interesting, the little snippets I heard. And this was another one that's hard. This one's like $61, if you look it up on on uh, Discogs, the high end. Um, and, you know, the mid-range, I think, is probably like 30 or something like that. Um, but I'm going to open it. Um, it is a gatefold. It says, featuring, featuring Don't Hate Me, Family, Johnny Wants to Fight. I think that's the song I listened to the snippet of. And got a parental advisory sticker. So we'll pop it open, see what's good. Uh, I think this is limited too, as well. Um, I don't know what the number of it, what numbers on it were, but uh, there we go. Let's see if we can slide it off. Perfect. I like to keep the plastic, by the way, if it's got stickers on it. <laughs> so we got lyrics and some guys in the band. Back to that cover again. Plain back cover. That, that's a little disappointing. Um, but I guess it, it show it's a continuation of the room they're in because it's, you know, so that, that's okay. Uh, it's two records. Ooh, nice sleeve. Don't see a download card in there. It did say there was a download, but there's no download card in this thing. Unless it's somewhere that I don't know to look. Nope, no download card. Hmm. Interesting. But we've got these plastic uh, polyline sleeves. We got black vinyl. Does the labels. I'm assuming this is 45 RPM. Um, one, two, three, four songs, three songs. Yeah, it's going to be 45 RPM. I'm sure of it. Sure of it. Maybe it didn't say there was MP3s. Maybe I'm just imagining things. No, it didn't say that, so I'm just making things up as I go along. I thought all of these had, had the uh, MP3 uh, downloads with them, but apparently not. So this one ought to be interesting. Um, like I said, I listened to a little bit of it. It was, uh, you know, it was alternative for sure. Um, I don't know when this came out. Uh, off the back of this 2021 um, I don't think it's a United States pressing either um, it, it doesn't have a United States on it and it's just it's got some weird numbers um, but anyway we'll check this one out and uh, be moving along with it. Keep dropping my little pick. So the next one is a guy that um, I knew of, but never listened to any solo stuff. Didn't listen to a lot of his uh, band stuff either. Um, I mean, I had some of it, but not as much as I could have. Well, I got two albums. Um, 
Now, count this, it'll be three. So the guy is Mark Lanigan. He was the singer of Screaming Trees, which was a grunge-type band from Seattle in the 90s. Uh, they had the hit Nearly Lost You. Um, I bought that album, Sweet Oblivion, and the next one, I think it was called Dust or something like that. Um, they were good, but it just I never really got into them too much. Um, but I've seen his albums uh, quite a few times, and they've been pretty cheap, you know, like under $20. And I wanted to try them out because everybody says they're so great. And I just never could get them. Like, I tried a couple times, like, to win in things where you, you pay, like, a dollar for a spot and try to, you know, and, and then if they pick your number, you win, you know, and I did that several times on a couple of his albums and just never got any. But then I, when this came up for five bucks and I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to get that. So I made a request to the guy to pull that for the next night and he did. And then the next day he had a couple of them and I just got one. So it's uh, Mark Lanigan, Houston, the publishing demos to, to the 20, 2002, geez. Uh, and it's got three MP3 downloads with purchase, all that good stuff. Um, it looks like it's a gatefold as well. Put it on the side. Uh, show you the back. Cut this one on the side too. Uh, Okay. It is a no. It's not two records. That's kind of cool. Uh, but got lyrics, liner, some liner notes. Uh, says who's in the band. Uh, Mark Lanigan's on vocals. Kenny Richards on drums. Steve Bailey on bass. Mike Johnson acoustic and electric guitar. Ian Moore guitar and sitar. Buka Allen keyboards and accordion. And Mickey Raphael harmonicas so I don't know any of those people um, but I'm sure they're worthy players Ooh. now this download card is a nice one um, because it's plastic and it's like a it's like a credit card almost um, and we'll show you the front side of it matches the album very nice and we'll cover up my thing here. And the back side has the uh, information. How to get your download. Now that, that's really cool. I like that kind of stuff. Um, you know, more albums should come with that. Especially $5 albums, right? Um, then we've got the vinyl, which is just black. It's heavy, too. It must be at least 180 gram. Uh Nice label. Um, I think I'm going to like this. Um, I, I really don't know why I didn't give uh, Screaming Trees as much attention as I probably should have back then. Um, but that was 30 years ago now, pretty much. So who knows? Mark Lanigan passed away, too. I don't, I don't remember what the reasoning behind that was. I don't know if he was sick or drugs or anything like that you know i don't want to speculate um i just don't know um i just know he passed away a few years ago uh, okay. then the next two are ones that i don't didn't know anything about um just thought they looked one one i thought the girl looked good and then the other one i just thought it looked cool uh and that would be First one is, this is not the girl that I thought looked good. Uh, this is Girl Pool Power Plant. Uh, a uh, kind of neat little thing. Um, I really didn't uh, listen to them. I don't know anything about them. I just thought this was cool. And I took a chance on it for $5 because I like the cover. Um, back covers, not so likable. It's just nothing. Um, so this one, this may be a uh, gatefold as well. We'll see. No, no, not a gatefold. Okay. This one does not have any kind of MP3s or anything. We've got 
printed in her sleeves. Yeah, those girls are cute too, so I didn't lose on them either. Uh, more lyrics. Black vinyl. Custom label on one side, song titles on the other side. Um, I guess that's side B because it's got to be there and there's an A on that side. So there you go. Um, this. I, I've seen other people buy this too. This one comes up very rarely on the shows. They must be, it must be old or they just don't have many. But other people have bought it when it pops up. Especially after I bought it. Like, I, I saw people buy it. Like, when I once I bought it, I saw other people buy it, like, immediately after. Like, the, that show, they had another one. And then the next day, I saw some people buy it again. So, um, you know, maybe maybe it was just something that... I don't know that they were copying from me, but I, maybe they thought it was something good. So, I hope something good. And the last one I got... <laughs> because I just... I like the girl. <laughs> Danielle Nicole, uh, Cry No More. This one comes with a download card. Uh, and uh, it. Uh, she's a blues kind of singer. Um, I did listen to a little bit of her. I checked her out before I bought it. I didn't buy it just because she's, she's a good looking lady. Uh, I, I, just, I, uh, I tested it out because it was this is one that popped up as well that hardly came up at all. And then I started seeing it a little bit after too. Um, but... Uh, it, from what I sampled, I liked it. Um, I think she's got some videos and stuff on, on YouTube, but uh, I didn't go that far. I just uh, looked and then listened to a snippet or two. And then, uh, okay. And she's got the plain old download card. There she is. Right in his sleeve. Uh, no lyrics, just uh, the uh, credits who played on it and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I'm assuming she's. It says vocals and bass. Uh, vocals and bass. So she must. I thought she played guitar, but she plays bass. So yeah, I don't. I think she plays. I don't think she plays guitar at all in this. Um, and then we've got the vinyl. I thought. Now I was surprised that the one blue one and all the rest of them are black, which I thought some of these might be color. Um, not the best looking label, but you know, good to go. So um, I've got a couple more coming. Uh, can't remember what they are at the moment. Uh, and then next week I might. I don't know what I'm going to do because I get paid on Monday and I think Tuesday is the the next $5 show. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not because they have some box sets that they have on there and there's a uh, one of them is a Soundgarden uh, live album. It's four records. that they, They've got three different versions. they got a black version. They got a color vinyl version that looks cool because it's got four different color vinyls, splatter vinyl and all that good stuff. Um, and then some extra stuff in the box. And then there's a super deluxe version, which is also black vinyl, but it has a lot of extra stuff like pictures. Um, I think it's got a CD, Blu-ray, some some other stuff. And I'm thinking about getting that one because it's only, it's $40. And they, if you sweet talk them a little bit they'll push it down to 35 most of the time so that's what i'm gonna try to do i'm uh i'm gonna say hey can i get a deal on this one and i'll buy it right now because that one's usually not not in the auction a lot of times they try to sell it uh for the the reg their price whatever they set price i mean they do put it in auction sometimes but it never really goes over that and they they try to sell uh one or two of them a show i don't know how many they have um, but, um, uh, they, uh, they should have them available, um, especially the super deluxe one. Cause that one costs like $5 or $10 more than the other two. Um, and so, you know, if you don't want the, 
the Blu-ray and the DVD, you just want the records, then you get the, the shorter ones. So anyway, that's that's what I'm probably going to do. Um, uh, again, sorry that I screwed up the uh, thing with New Zealand. Uh, I can't believe I did that. I was just so tired, uh, and you know, I was working with hardly any sleep. My eyes were burning from watching screens for so many hours over the last couple of weeks. Kind of got a little rest the last two days. Uh, this morning my eyes were still burning, but uh, they're better now. Hopefully they'll be better tomorrow, too. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I just messed up. <laughs> and so we'll uh, try not to mess that up again. I got this little chart, you know, we made over here. Oops, almost knocked over my little guys. Uh, I don't know if you saw the Creature from the Black Lagoon and uh, the Invisible Frodo Baggins from Lord of the Rings. I uh, won those on Whatnot as well for free. Um, this one, actually, someone donated to me. I didn't even know. It showed up at my door. Um, you know, I, I was, um, I said it looked cool when they won it, and I guess they already had it, so they just gifted it to me somehow. Don't know. But one day I opened my door, and there's a box sitting there, and I didn't know what it was. It was that guy. Little soda cans. Uh, that's a whole other adventure we could go on, but we're not going to do it today. So anyway, that's it for this episode. I got more episodes coming. Uh, I'm going to do another uh, this kind of video where just showing what I got. And then I'll probably try to do some theme videos, hopefully, pretty soon. Uh, you know, I don't know what they'll be, but, you know, do something that's not as boring as... Oh, bug. <laughs> Uh, as boring as just seeing me open up stuff. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Talk to you guys later. Bye.